Thinking about buying the Surface Laptop 3? Here's what you need to know. What's up everybody, Brad here. And for the better part of two weeks, I have been using this guy, which is the Surface Laptop 3 from Microsoft. This is the 15 inch flavor. And this one actually rings up the register at about 1700 bucks. It's AMD Ryzen 5, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, Vega 9 graphics. And there's some things you need to know before you buy this thing, because it's a little mixed if I'm honest. First off, there is absolutely no question about the hardware build quality, everything that's going on exterior wise, the keyboard, the trackpad, uh, the webcam, the audio, it's all surface grade material. And what I mean by that is this is the third generation of Microsoft building a laptop. Yes, it's the first time that they are building a 15 inch version, but it's all the fit and finishes there. I don't really have any big like questions about the durability of this thing. And even if there was, this thing is actually significantly more serviceable than the last generation. Well, you may not be able to do it, at least when you take it somewhere, they should be able to service it much better because Microsoft has put screws underneath these little rubber feet here, and there's no carpet on this one that needs to be ripped off. Now, there are versions that do have the Alcantara on it, but what Microsoft has done is they've reconfigured the deck lid so that it can actually be removed by a trained specialist, but you can actually service now at least the hard drive. Microsoft is saying, I don't believe that the RAM can be configured or changed yet, but if your hard drive does die, that is at least swapped at this point. So you do have that option. And for corporate customers, what that means is that, hey, you can actually rip out that hard drive when it is time to retire the hardware and not have to worry about your trade secrets being stolen and all that good stuff, because it is a best practice to destroy the hard drive when you are retiring or repurposing the hardware outside of the corporate environment. So starting off with what I love, I, I love the size. This is it, this is really close to being like my perfect size. It's a nice high quality material. Uh, the metal deck lid on this version feels fantastic. It's not sharp. You can easily open it here. You can see it's just going to boot right up. Um, it is a little bit fingerprint prone. There, there's no, no way of getting around that. But if you carry a microfiber cloth, you'll be perfectly fine. It's not, I don't think it's going to have any issues with scratches. I have a Surface Pro 6 in the black and it held up pretty well. Yes, if you take your keys to a razor, you will scratch it and it will get ruined. But I think throwing it into a nice padded backpack or, or padded um, laptop carry bag, you'll be more than fine. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I personally prefer the black. None of the colors are too striking. They got rid of the red or the burgundy, which was my personal favorite. Uh, and they also got rid of cobalt blue, I believe. And so... Well, actually, I take that back. I think they do still have the cobalt blue, but they definitely got rid of the burgundy. Now, what I don't love about this laptop, unfortunately, is the performance. Uh, the AMD Ryzen 5 in this iteration, it just, it's not there. For this machine to be excellent, I don't expect to be able to do heavy video editing or heavy photo editing on it every single day, but it's a bit of a chore doing it at all. In the battery life, I'm getting somewhere between six to six and a half, maybe seven if I'm really babying it, which for a $1,700 laptop, it's not that great. It's really not. And it pains me to say that because one, I like AMD products um, and I really like Surface stuff, but this combination just isn't really working at 1700 bucks. Now, if you are looking to buy one, you can get into the hardware at 1200 bucks, a 15 inch that will get you AMD Ryzen 5, eight gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage. And that is probably the only 15 inch version with an AMD chip inside that I can honestly recommend because at 1200 bucks, you know what, hopefully what you're getting, you're not getting a gaming machine while you technically can game on this. And I did a video on it. You should check it out. It, it's not for that. If you were just looking for a 15 inch laptop to do some word processing, browse the web, 1200 bucks, while not cheap, I, I'm fully aware you were getting a premium product. You were getting a premium experience at that 1200 bucks, um, minus some of the performance and battery life. But I think that trade-off is acceptable. I would not spend the money. I mean, you can spend all the way up to $2,100 on the AMD version in that that's a that's tough for me to go out and confidently say to buy so if you're going to get the 15 inch and you're going to get the amd chip get the 1200 dollars. don't spend the extra money maybe if you really think you need that additional 120 gigs of storage it might be might be worth it to you but you're not going to get better performance or anything else out of it which is a bit of a pity now i say all of this with a slight caveat if you will because if I were going to be spending $1,700 on a 15 inch Surface laptop, the business customers can actually get the Intel chip. Now, while I do not have the Intel chip version with me, um, I do know some of the information about it. And if I were gonna be spending that much money, cause I, I really do like this 15 inch, 
I would get honestly recommend the 15 inch. If you're a corporate customer in the enterprise world, you can go grab those as a business customer and you still get everything that's great about the, the Surface Laptop 3. The aspect ratio is great. The, the display is great. The keyboard is great. The larger trackpad has enough room for an Olympic sized swimming pool. It is it is a fantastic laptop. And if you if you toss the Intel chip in there, it becomes probably my favorite laptop that Microsoft is building. It, it's it's ordinary, but that is fine. It doesn't do yoga. The screen doesn't bend. It does have a touch screen. Um, it doesn't detach like the service. It is just a laptop. And at just a laptop, this form factor and Microsoft's build quality is top notch. Not to mention you get a USB type A and a type C, which I'm a big fan of having both because that makes bridging the, the period we're in right now where we have two different types of standards kind of competing. Well, not competing, but this type C is superseding type A, but it doesn't make it awkward. You always have both available. I really appreciate that. And it does quick charging goes to zero to 80% in about an hour, uh, give or take. I've had some varying degrees of success there, but it's around an hour. You'll get up to 80%, which is fantastic. And none of that changes if you're using an AMD or an Intel chip. Now, the other benefits, if you grab the Intel chip version, you actually get Wi-Fi 6. Now, the next generation of Wi-Fi, which the AMD version does not include. So that I love this laptop with an Intel chip. And AMD people are going to be a little disappointed by that, but I'm not alone in this. Performance was just, it's not there for the price point at those higher end SKUs, which is unfortunate for Microsoft and for AMD, because I think Microsoft took a bit of a risk putting the AMD chip in here, and it doesn't look like it's going to pay off any big dividends in either pricing or performance, unfortunately. So that is what you need to know. That being said, it's a wonderful laptop. Microsoft did a, the Surface team did a good job designing this thing. And I know it sounds kind of weird because what did they design? Well, they made it, it's pretty dang thin. It's got, it's just, it feels nice. They did a good job with the keyboard. Uh, I've used a lot of Surface products over the year and they just keep refining them little bit by little bit and they keep getting better and better. And I think the Surface Laptop 3 is a wonderful machine. Uh, this is the 15 inch. You can also grab in a 13.5 inch, which again, I have one of those around here from the last generation, a good size as well. And it does come with the Intel chip for the consumer, which that means it's gonna be a little bit more portable. You should be getting better battery life on that as well. But the Surface Laptop 3 overall is a good product. I would just stick to the Intel chips for now and you'll get a better bang for your buck, honestly. And uh, that's what you need to know about the Surface Laptop 3 before you go buy one. You can find a link to my full review down below or hit that subscribe button because I will be using this thing throughout the year. And I'm gonna be curious to see if Microsoft shifts any driver optimizations that are gonna make the CPU and GPU work better. Keep in mind, this is Microsoft's first time with AMD. While they do have a lot of chip experience, I do expect that this product, or I should say at least hope that the performance does improve over time.